Hi, Paola! Kamusta? Hi! I'm back with Adam G. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for having me and accepting the invite. <laughs> Ikaw pa, di ba? As much as possible, I really wanna, you know, talk to a lot of the contestants para for me to really get to know you better. So how have you been since the screening two months ago? Mm, everything has been great, I guess. <laughs> Despite the busy schedule, we've been happy with the uh, Bini Binis and we really have this great bond. The sisterhood is really within the Bini Binis in this batch. So everything is doing great despite the activities that we're having and the hectic schedules that we have. Pero feeling ko naman masaya katulad kanina nag showtime kayo, 'di ba? How was the experience? Yes, yeah, super fun. Grabe yung ano, yung puso ko na nakatapak ako sa ABS-CBN. And thank you for Binibining Pilipinas for that opportunity. So na meet mo yung mga host. Yes, but sadly wala po si Vice Ganda. So I guess sa uh, ano na lang, sa coronation night, she will oh, be there. Oh, no. he's going to be a performer, a performer I guess, yeah. So, kulingan mo, aura-aura ka sa harapan niya. Haba. Para mapansin niya ako. <laughs> sa kanya talaga magpapapansin. Oo, oh, siya talaga yung goal eh, hindi sa judges. Yeah. So, kamusta? Kamusta, yung, kamusta naman yung so far yung journey mo sa Binibini? How can you sum it up in one word? It's amazing. Of course, I guess my Binibini sisters would uh, agree with me with this because uh, nakakagulat na na napap, nakakaya namin lahat kahit alam natin na yung mga schedule minsan hindi hindi siya agad-agad nasasabi or may mga changes kasi um, hindi naman natin yun matatanggal in our everyday lives na there will, there will always be changes and yun din yung natutunan ko to always be prepared with Binibini, we don't know what's gonna happen next, malay mo, i-move nila yung coronation tomorrow night, so you always have to be ready and I think with the um, months of the journey in Binibining Pilipinas, I think we are already equipped with what we need and with Binibining Pilipinas helping us with the sponsors, yung mga binibigay nila, pinagtitraining nila kami sa Dale Carnegie and uh, pinunta kami sa Gold's Gym para mag-Zumba. Lahat po ng activities namin sa Binibini really adds up to our life, personality, and character. So I guess we're all ready. Kahit coronation night na bukas. <laughs> so, in other words, happy pagod. Yes, happy pagod always. So, what's your favorite activity so far? Um, nung first uh, months of the Binibini, my favorite activity was blood donation, which it still is. Kasi, syempre, advocacy ko yun. And I love seeing the Binibinis have their heart for people kahit hindi nila nakikita kung sino ba yung matutulungan nila. And we're always um, for the community. Sobrang happy ng heart ko nun kahit sobrang ikli lang ng activity. But now, we had our visit with Beauty Derm and we look up to Miss... Rhea Tan, the CEO of Beauty Derm. Sobrang inspiring, relaxing ng place niya. May mga nanal ng LV, sayang di ako. <laughs> paano yun? Drawlats ba yun? Ano, may raffle po na drawlats. Tapos merong e may part ng uh, event na nag-raffle ulit ng top... Hindi naman siya top. <laughs> ng five girls. Then pinaglaban-laban nila ng Q&A. And Mirhan got the LV bag. Pero yung iba raffle, may two other raffles na binunot lang talaga. <laughs> Hindi na kailangan paghirapan. <laughs> uh, that was Charmaine. May LV bag din siya na worth 80 plus daw. Thousand pesos. Then another is Ate Andrea. Nakakuha siya ng Balman jacket. Sana all. <laughs> Bongga naman ng sponsor na yan. Uh, sobrang generous niya. And sobrang thankful kami kay Miss Rhea Tan na na talagang kinupkup niya kami, ang tawag pa niya sa amin ay mga anak. <laughs> yeah. So, hindi ka nahihirapan juggling both uh, your candidacy here in Binibining Pilipinas and your day job? I won't deny na nahihirapan naman po talaga ako kasi it's not an easy job. Kasi uh, I'm a graduating student and I'm expected to excel in both. But, yun nga, since I'm juggling both, uh, nakakaya ko naman and I believe I'm doing my best in both. But with the support, yun, nakakaahon dahil they, they are my backbone in, what, in both journeys that I'm taking. So for those who don't know yet, 
uh, Paula here is an intern for a hospital. Ako po ako ng intern sa hospital. Now I'm in a manufacturing pharmacy na. Oh, what exactly is your job description in that manufacturing pharmacy? So for now, since mahirap nga pong pagsabayin, binigyan nila ako ng option na mag-virtual internship. So even though virtual naman siya, madami akong ginagawang paperworks regarding mga quality control of medicines and activities na binibigay nila. So I just have to comply. And um, yung internship ko naman na yun, until June 27 pa siya. So if ever given a chance, I can still do hands-on with manufacturing. Uh, that's great. So... Apart from that, what is one interesting fact that people still don't know about you? Um, I think an interesting fact maybe is that I'm a fur mom. <laughs> and I really miss my dog right now because we have a lot of activities with Binibini and now my family is taking care of him. He's a dash hound dog, the hot dog, <laughs> sausage dog, Uzi. So they're all based in Batangas. Tas ikaw lang. Uh, yes po. Dito ka sa Manila. I'm po. alone with the binibinis naman. So it's still okay to stay even if I'm away from my family. So kaya mo na palang maging independent. Is this your first time to be alone in a different city? Uh, not really, but I guess uh, it's a different situation right now because I'm competing in a pageant. So minsan may mga breakdowns na sinasarili ko na lang talaga. But we're still fighting. What have been those uh, breakdowns? Can you share a little bit lang? <laughs> Challenge? Or... Okay. One talaga na naging major breakdown is yung nagkasakit talaga ako. After po ng Jag Fashion Show, sabi ko after, nakasama ko pa yung fans ko noon, after the night. So, nag, uh, nag-chikahan pa kami ng konti. And I'm, uh, nagtataka ako, bakit parang sabi ko, ba't parang hindi ako pagod? Ang dami namin ginawa, ang aga ng call time namin noon. So, uh, I had uh, time. I had time with them. Na akala ko okay ako, pero nung gabi na pagkahiga ako, naramdaman ko po talaga lahat ng pagod. And feeling ko talaga nanigas yung katawan ko ganyan. Then may activity po kami nung the next day. Di na ako naka-attend. So it's just not the mental breakdown. Kahit katawan ko po nag nag breakdown na nun. But yeah, uh, we're still. Keep, keep on going with the uh, uh, competition and I know now how to take care of myself better. Di na po ako nag, uh, si skip ng vitamins and lagi pa rin ko makai. So ngayon ready ka na sa, sa nakatakdang araw ng mga crucial events nyo? Yes, I believe so. Di na po ulit ako nagkakasakit after nun. <laughs> and I think I'm glowing better now. That's great. So on that note, good luck. On your yes, on your performances on those crucial activities, press Last presentation. Two weeks. Last two weeks, uling hirit kaya yeah. So can you invite your followers and supporters to keep liking all your social media engagement and keep supporting you here on Binibining Pilipinas? Hello everyone. I hope you continue to support me. Uh, I I want you. I want to see you on May 28 on the coronation night. I hope to hear your loud roars for me there. And also with the votings now open for Pizza Hut, for Manila Bulletin, for Bingo Plus. I hope you vote for me and help me get the special awards <laughs> apart from the crown. Thank you and see you on May 28. Bye! Bye!